As you all know, electric motors are used to efficiently convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Electric motors are found in household appliances such as uh, uh, fans, refrigerators, washing machines, air conditioners, vacuum cleaners, microwave ovens, uh, water pumps and so on. Apart from these, uh, motors are uh, vastly used in various industrial applications as well. Rewinding a motor is the last desperate step to take in repairing the motor. You can't usually tell if a motor needs rewinding by just looking at it. Motors need to be rewound generally for two reasons. Because excessive heat has damaged the insulation to such an extent that electricity passes from winding to winding without going through them all. Or else because the winding has been cut in a place that is not near the end of the coil. The best way to determine if a motor needs rewinding is to fix every other possible thing wrong with it. Still, if the motor does not perform satisfactorily, then you might look at rewinding it. There are two main classifications of motors, AC and DC. AC motors require an alternating current or voltage source to make them work, like the power coming out of the wall outlets in our houses. DC motors require a direct current or voltage source to make them work, like the voltage coming out of uh, batteries. Universal motors can work on either type of power. Not only is the construction of the motors different, but the means used to control the speed and torque created by each of these motors also varies, although the principles of power conversion are common to both. Now, though motors are broadly classified as AC and DC motors, there are a lot many other classifications in motors and we are going to see the rewinding procedure for some of these motors in the exercises that are to follow shortly.